What is going on, everybody? Are you guys as happy that it's Friday as I am? I hope so, because the weekend is here, and it is time to do a little bit of relaxing. So, that being said, I wanted to start today, this Friday, and I want to maybe try over the next few weeks to start doing these challenges you guys gave me on that community post a couple weeks back. Um, there's a few big ones that um, are going to take a little longer than a week to do. Um, in fact, I'm working on one of the other ones right now as well. Um, but I figured today I'd just jump in and kick off one of the ones that's a little bit easier. Now, this might be kind of a cop-out way to do this uh, this one challenge um, that somebody recommended. But I figured, what the heck, this is better than nothing. I haven't ever used this specific program before. So we're going to have a go at it, and I'm not going to try something too difficult, but one of the challenges was to write a program using the Ed text editor. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and jump into the Ed text editor and see what we can come up with on just a real basic, simple program um, to kind of get a feel for it. So let's go ahead and launch a terminal. I'm going to zoom in here. And basically, the Ed text editor is the editor that was kind of around back before Vi and Vim and all this stuff. And basically, when the TTY was um, in use, uh, which was basically kind of like your terminal now, only instead of using a screen, it used paper. If you're not familiar with what the TTY was originally, the teletype, um, check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, I'd recommend Googling it and taking a look at it. But basically, the... The uh, Ed editor is a line-based editor as, a far, as opposed to a mode-based editor like Vim or anything like that. But basically what it does is you would type in and you'd start typing your code or your program or whatever and it would do it line by line by line on the paper that was printing out as opposed to going on your screen. So I figure let's go ahead and give this one a try. So what we're going to do is we are going to use Ed. So we're going to use Ed, but we want to have a prompt. So we're going to use the dash P flag. And for my prompt, I want to have the greater than symbol or less than I always forget which one that is but the problem with this is if we do that and we hit enter it tells us we have a syntax error because that's a new line token so what we need to do is we need to do ed and then we need to escape that and that's going to give us our prompt now the prompt is really not that big of a deal um, you would normally just get the line there um, but when we go into insert quote unquote insert mode <laughs> um, I'll show you why the prompt doesn't matter because the prompt disappears. So what the first thing we've got to do is if I type right now, I'm basically just going to have a bunch of stuff that wouldn't get saved to the file. Kind of like um, just randomness. Um, it wouldn't get saved in the file. It wouldn't get written down. Um, basically in Ed, kind of like in Vim having to go in insert mode, but in Ed you type A and that puts us into quote unquote insert mode. Um, now I can, whatever I type in here is going to get added to the file that I'm creating. So since we're creating a bash script or a bash program here, what I want to do first is I want to create a shebang. So we're going to do shebang and then we're going to do slash bin slash bash and we're going to hit enter and that's our first line. Now if I hit enter again, that'll give me a space. And what I want to do is let's create, let's just create a little program that adds a couple numbers together. So, but I want it to, I want to give it some numbers and have a little bit more output than just the addition of the numbers. So let's do um, echo, and then we'll say, please enter a number, um, and then we'll hit enter, and then we're going to say read num read num1, that's what we'll do, and then we'll do echo, please enter a second number, and then we'll read num2. Um, I really hope this works, but... <laughs> Um, like I said, I've never used this before. I just kind of did a little bit of reading up on the basic uh, basic usage of Ed. But um, um, so okay, what we're going to do then is we need to create the variable for the sum of the two numbers. So we want the sum to equal uh, num one plus num two. So that's going to be our sum, and then let's do if. Um, not sim. If sum is greater than 20, let's have it then put out 
I'm assuming I have to use same syntax here by tabs and moving over and stuff like that. I don't know, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. We're going to echo. That is a large number. And then we're going to else tab echo. That is a small number. And then five. So basically what this should do is it should ask me to input, input one number and then it'll read that number and store it in the num1 position and then it'll ask for a second number and then my input will be stored as the second number position. It should do the addition on those two numbers and then if that addition equates to a number larger than 20 it should echo out that is a large number else it should echo out that as a small number. So basically, now what we gotta do is we gotta hit period, because that'll take us out of quote unquote insert mode. And then we do write, and we wanna write it to, let's do, let's do edcalc.sh. So the W will write it to a file called edcalc.sh. If we hit enter, you can see that it's 223 characters long. And then if we quit, that should take us out. Now let's ch, actually, let's ch mod plus x ed calc. That's my video, the ed challenge, ed calc dot sh. So we ch mod plus x ed calc dot sh. So basically, Let's go ahead and before we even look at the file, let's go ahead and try and run it to see if that actually stored in that file and if everything worked okay. So let's let's go ahead and clear the screen here and let's do a dot slash to run the edcalc.sh and let's see what happens. Oh, okay, so far so good. Let's enter a number. Um, let's do two. Please enter a second number. Let's do five. Okay, so now what it should happen here is when I hit enter, it should add these two numbers together and if it's less than 20, which it will be because two plus five is seven, it should tell me this is not a large number. If it was more than 20, it should tell me this is a large number. So let's see what happens. That is a small number. All right, let's try it again. So let's do edcalc.sh and let's try 498 and 32. That is a large number. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and vim into edcalc.sh. And there it is. Look at that. Just like a regular old bash script. So, pretty cool. Um, obviously, this is a very, very basic way to use the ed um, text editor. And it's probably a lot harder when you start getting into bigger stuff and writing different languages and stuff like that. But that's really pretty cool. Um, being able to do that right at the command line there without having to open a file or anything like that, that's that's really kind of neat. And for this little stuff, you know, if I keep practicing with this, I might continue to use Ed. So, I don't know. Um, that, that's kind of fun. So, I might do a few more of those uh, just playing around with Ed and see what we can't come up with. But, yeah, so that's uh, first challenge done. Um, thank you for uh, suggesting that. Um, I'll go back and look at uh, who suggested that and give you a thumbs up or whatever. But uh, thanks for checking that or suggesting that. And, um yeah, my next my next uh, challenge, um, I actually have downloaded and installed uh, Nix OS. Um, I don't know if that will. I shouldn't say that's my next challenge. I don't know if that will be my next challenge. I got to get things set up. But one of the challenges was to live in Nix OS with Left Window Manager. I think for a week. Um, and so I just got it installed. If I can get it set up and get the package management uh, figured out and everything, um, that'll be a challenge coming up as well. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is uh, this is again the Ed Text Editor, um, and I hope you found this interesting. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great weekend and stay safe. All right, God bless.